Today, we are gonna push the new unit creator as far and as powerfully and as much as we humanly can. It's a brand new tool, currently in beta, the official unit creator, and I don't know the limits that we can push it to. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come over here to the custom content button, move on over, there's Ninja Bob Ross, remember him from the last video, and we're gonna make a new unit. Now here's my question, just how far can we go before we break stuff? So for example, I don't wanna be a wobbler today. Actually, no, I did a, I did a little hobbit the last time. We're gonna do a wobbler this time, and we're gonna give him a new voice. And that voice is gonna be all the way down here. Ah, no, I was here, let's, let's go find out. Let's go see how far down we can go. Let's give him the Reaper voice. <laughs> yeah. Actually, something, something's wrong. I can't change the unit base. I can't change the movement types. I can't change the rider. Did the devs push a patch through? I think it's broken. Moving on to the weapons in his left hand. We're gonna choose. I, I didn't mean to choose that. That was a, a misclick. Hold on. We can change the colors of the weapons? Now, we need to find the most ridiculously powerful weapon that we can find because we're pushing the be mittens. What are mittens? A mirror shield? Wait a minute, didn't Meme Dealer have a mirror shield? A fan shield? A pen? Why is there a pen? Oh, there's the spoon! We found the spoon! A triple flail? A bottle? A fork? A knife? A double sword? A, 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 a fish? There's a lot more weapons here than I expected. Wait a minute, no way! Guys, it's all the guns from Tab G, the amazing gun game! <laughs> Why is there an inflatable hammer? Oh, it's a frying pan! All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Inflatable hammer. <laughs> totally inflatable hammer. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, you can't be intimidating unless you can smack people over the head with a balloon. Now, can I change the... Oh, I can change the color and I can not change the stats. I can't change the color. Is that functionality not yet available? Wait a minute. 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 I've given him five sets of Reaper wings. What have I done? Now, we're going to make him look as ridiculous as even possible. Six and a half hours later. Have you ever started to make something and then you thought to yourself, man, I think I've gone too far. Yeah, me neither. Oh, this keeps getting better and better as we go along. Twelve seconds later. Ladies and gentlemen, I have taken the unit creator to its absolute limits visually. Take a look at our lovely creation. Isn't he magnificent? <laughs> I don't even have a name for him yet, guys. We gotta name him somehow. Let's go back to the offense. Let's look at the weapons. How do we... What does he wield? What does he fight with? Part of me wants to give him guns. Part of me wants to just give him the inflatable hammers because they're just so ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, shit. <laughs> oh, it's glorious. And abilities. We're not going to do the Reaper Wings. No, we're going to let the hammers do all the work. No Reaper Wings. So instead, we're going to give him some defensive abilities. Let's start with Master Projectile Block and Regular Projectile Block and Lightning Projectile Block. Actually, remove Regular Projectile Block and instead, we're going to go with some of the Dodges or the Teacher Parry. I gave him two master projectile blocks, hoping that they stack a teacher's parry and then two different kinds of charges with these amazing weapons. The base is done. The weapons are done. The clothes are done. And now moving on to the stats. And like I said, we have to push this as far as we humanly can. So hit points. What's the max? If I just keep adding zero, Ooh, hit enter. E plus 15. Are you kidding me? This is working. I'm going to hold down zeros for a long time. Enter. Enter. Hmm. It didn't go E to 15 or anything. Oh, I do E to the 100. Like, like in my brain, this isn't going to work, but maybe it doesn't. Let's just leave it E to the 100. For those of you who don't know, that's 100 zeros. Size. I think he needs to be really big. I think he needs to be 10 times. Uh, hey, hey, buddy. Oh, where'd you go? He disappeared. This might be a problem. The weight and strength of the unit. Well, I guess we'll increase it by 10 as well. Hopefully we can hold this up. Movement speed uh, times 100. Attack speed. Oh, times just 10 for now. And damage times 1,000. Well, it's time being. If it's not good enough, we'll make it go higher. Now we have to name him. I will name him. Sir. Mr. Sparkle. 
pants. Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants it is. That's the stupidest name of the planet. Can I save the unit? Let's give him... Wait, why can't I save the unit? Oh, I need to take a picture. Um, but he's not there to take a picture. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's uh, let's remove that size down to the one times again. Hey, he's back. Look at him. But he's he's dancing. Why, why are you dancing there, bud? Put your weight back to one. Okay, that's better. Oh, you're so heavy. You're trying to hold yourself up. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it at the, the one size for now. We'll, we'll worry about the size for Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants later. <laughs> That name ah now we can take a picture of sir mr sparkle pants indeed look at how glorious he is sir mr sparkle pants is a treasure description you will address him as sir mr S sparkle pants or else 3,000 points no he's only gonna cost 21 because as you remember 21 is the minimum if you go down to 20 you can't save the unit but at 21 points you can save the unit save sir mr sparkle pants and we're gonna add him to the mr crowjack boys faction add ninja bob ross add sir mr sparkle pants here we are in the legacy world and now we're going to add Mr. Crowjack's boys to our factions and remove whatever that old run was. <laughs> Mr. Crowjack's boys, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Sparkle Pants. And he is so beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest unit you've ever seen? Hold on. Oh, he increased his damage. Ah, it'll be fine. He'll fight off. It'll be fine. Let's uh let's just uh grab some clubbers for now, okay? Let's just grab some clubbers for now. And let's watch Mr. Sparkle Pants. Mr. Mr. Sparkle Pants, make sure you address him as Sir. Go in there and do work with his hammers. He does have the charge ability. I wanted the ability to be in there and, and, and close in the distance, but he's flopping around like crazy. He is absolutely majestic in his ability to fall on his face. He does deal some damage now, but he needs to deal more like oomphy damage, more like impactful damage. He's not quite ready yet, guys. You know, Mr. Sparkle Pants, he's a higher pitched voice. Fencer, high pitched. <laughs> That's exactly what I picture when I hear Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants. So he has a lot of HP. He has a decent size. I'm actually gonna double his size, make him slightly bigger. Now he's a bit of a giant. Unit weight, double the unit weight. He's got some dancing legs going on there. Attack speed is great. Let's uh, really increase attack speed. Damage, we're gonna add another zero. <laughs> Just because not. Let's take a look at the new and improved Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants. Oh, he's looking a whole lot bigger now. We got a bunch of knights. Just uh, test them out. Hello. You've made it to the middle of the video. Congratulations. And he's moving a whole lot faster. You know what? I think him at twice the size makes a lot of sense. Except he's flopping there. Now he's moving a little bit too fast. Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants, could you just slow down? I think he has too much speed. He's not actually doing what he's supposed to be doing. Hey, calm down, Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants, please. This, okay, well, let's let's slow him down. He's, he's a big, angry, green and pink dinosaur, and he needs to slow down. He needs to chill. It's just it's just too much. It's just too much. Yeah, we're going to take that speed down to a times 10. We've made him heavier. We've slowed him down. Maybe now he will act more normal. There we go. Look at him run. He's actually kind of running as he flops over. I mean, this is totally accurate battle simulator. Now we're talking. This is what I wanted to see. I want to see the giant dinosaur. He actually might even be okay being a little bit bigger. I mean, right now, he just seems like a big man. I want him to be a bit more of a dinosaur with really cool shades and an arrow through his skull and a, and a racket over his neck. And, you know, he's just, he's a cool guy. One more little tweak times four. Oh, yes, please. Oh, he's a big boy. And he's spinning like a top. Dude, I increased your weight to times 20. You should be fine. But apparently not. Apparently you're having a hard time. Here we go. Um, can can Sir and Mrs. Sparkle Pants stand up? Can, can, can you stand on your feet and not flop around? Have I made you too big? Mr. Mrs. Sparkle Pants, sir, um, you have a job to do. 
could you could you go and do your job and stop spinning like a crazy top why are you doing this this isn't disco fighting uh apparently we made him too big guys he can't even do what he's supposed to do he's just flopping around like crazy he's close he's not quite there three weeks later i think i've done it everyone i think i've made sir mr sparkle pants the most powerful he can be. Now, I think his damage could go higher. His HP could go higher. But I can't make him any taller, sadly, because if I do... Oh, and by the way, um, Ice Giants, breathing ice, that's a thing. Mr. Sparkle Pants is actually being completely surrounded by these Ice Giants right now. Only a handful as he's trying to be frozen. But Mr. Sparkle Pants, sir, Mr. Sparkle Pants, you must pronounce his name properly, is now being buried alive by Ice Giants. Oi, I must control him. I'm, I must get freedom from ice giants controlling me let me go i just want to run i want to be a fast dinosaur i want to be the greatest dinosaur that ever was oh uh, here we go time to fight this ice giant hey don't breathe fire on me let me just give you a bit of a fire it's actually ice Ooh. did i just smack the ice giant into oblivion with my beautiful pink hammers i sure did he's powerful how powerful is he sir mr sparkle pants versus tanks and the tanks sent him flying i was hoping he would be able to block them with his master projectile blocking but he's actually being crowd controlled by the knockback of the tanks now the tanks will eventually get close enough to sir mr sparkle pants to do something as sir mr sparkle pants is now is he fighting the tanks or is he having the tanks fight themselves here let me let me, let me back it up hi i'm uh, i'm sir mr sparkle pants how are you? Don't mind me as I come in and try to swing. No, I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm being buried alive by tank corpses. Get off of me. I serve Mr. Sparkle Pants. Let me up. He can't get up. He, he can't get up. Mr. And Mr. Sparkle Pants might need a hover, guys. Let's give him some flying. Many months later. Hover officially accomplished and he's barely hovering off the ground at 1.5 times the size of this would help him with his movement but can he actually smack things with the hammers now we're waiting to see if he can actually do anything or if he's just gonna be juggled like a plaything that can't be broken i like the hover but i'm not so sure about the weapons too bad i can't increase the weapons reach increase the weapon size he is killing them eventually there's three super boxers dead i mean he does have too much hp the super box is there grabbing onto him oh he's so adorable i love his little weapons can i just give them a snack also realizing that the uh, giant ground pound does not make sense when you can fly it honestly makes no sense he is able to defeat the super boxers which he knocked into the ground um you win by default there Sir, Mr. Dr. Captain, Mr. Sparkle Pants. <laughs> He's ridiculous. Sir, Mr. Sparkle Pants. Now with Hurricane. Yo, he just made a hurricane. I thought he would just spin like a crazy guy and attack things. He actually made hurricanes. That's different. Though he's. Was, what? Whoa! Whoa! Dude, that is so cool. He just made it like a weird thing and then like dove through all the Thors. That was sick. Do that again. That was so cool. Whose attack is that? Was that a Thor ability? No, it can't be a Thor ability. Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants having the time of his life fighting these Thors now. There's that ability. He freezes the Thors solid, but he doesn't close the distance. And then the boom, it's Hembus. So which ability is which? Which one actually summons a tornado? Which one does that stun? I wonder which ability it is. Can, can, can you just like beat? There you go. Just beat the Thors there. Now we're talking! So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hours of testing, this is my current iteration of Sir Mr. Mr. Sparkle Pants. <laughs> he's a little bit smaller, but he's way more effective at doing what he's meant to be doing, which is beating the daylight out of people with his adorable pink hammers. Did you know the hammers squeak? whenever they land and hit things. Wait, hear that? <laughs> they actually squeak. And he flies around almost like a little angel of pink and green dad. I mean, he does have the cute little pink wings. That's why he can fly. I love to see him pull out those swords though. 
and beat the daylights out of things. He's not too fast, because if he's too fast, he loses control. And he's not too big or too small, because if he's either or, he can't control himself. He's just the right size. He's the Goldilocks zone of perfection as he continues to beat the daylights out of these guys. Hey, hey, did anyone, did, did he just fly into the world? He just flew straight down to the planet. Let's have some real tests. I want to test him against the super peasant. Can he actually defeat the super peasant? Does he have enough HP and enough damage? Yes, he does. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants managed to kill the super peasant, but can he do it to the dark peasant? That is another question that I have. Is he strong enough? Master Deflect? He is being smacked around by the hands of God into the planet. You saw his hammer disappear. The glitch in the planet is practically cheating. I think it's unfair. It's not a quite a fair estimation of their power. So if I make him close enough, can he is he capable of dealing enough damage? Oh, the knockback from the Reaper. Hey, is anyone? He fell through the planet again, didn't he? He fell through the planet again. Sir, Mr. Happy, Master, Dr. Sparkle Pants, PhD. I only have one last question. You versus the ninja Bob Ross, who also has the hands of God. I forgot about that. It's practically cheating. If Sir Mr. Happer, oh, Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants, Sir Mr. Sparkle Pants is strong enough to defeat Ninja Bob Ross. That's insane. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more amazing creations by me, comment down below and let me know. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.